Hello my friends, ladies and gentlemen, anyone watch this video, and today we are going to be talking about the next Total War game. So, always been a popular topic, especially since Rome 2 and its controversy. Um, a lot of people have been wondering, what's going to happen to Total War? Um, are Creative Assembly going to continue after the controversy they got with Rome 2? And if so, is it going to cause the same controversy? Because a lot of people feel that if it does, uh, the Total War series will just stop. So I'm hoping it doesn't create the same controversy. I mean, in my opinion, Rome 2 was actually a very fun game, but a lot of people didn't feel the same, and so I'm hoping they make another Rome 1 sort of game, if you know what I mean, where everyone can agree. Fantastic, fantastic game. Anyway, we're not here to talk about uh, the controversy behind the games, we are here to talk about my opinion. Um, so there's two questions really on the plate. First of all, what do I think the next Total War game will be, and what do I hope the next Total War game will be? So here it is. So firstly, what do I th uh, think the next Total War game will be? This is a bit more difficult because there's so many options on the plate that I have to choose from. So I'll try and go through some of these options. A lot of people have been saying that a possible next Total War game would be Total War Warhammer because Creative Assembly do have a team developing a Warhammer game that they haven't officially announced what it will be. Um, I won't go into too much depth because this is just a quick, short video uh, whilst I'm downloading an update for Rome 2. Um, I personally think it would be a bad idea. Um, I've seen a lot of other people in the Total War community, such as Darren Total War, who was saying, yeah, I don't think this would be a good game, Creative Assembly are focusing on the historical aspects of the games, and I am 100% behind these people. I think Total War Warhammer would kill the series after the controversy of Rome 2, but that is just my opinion. Feel free to comment your opinion in the comments below. And the next thing that it could be uh, is, this one is quite popular, Medieval 3. Um, Medieval 2 is, I didn't play Medieval 1, Medieval 2 was a fantastic game. It didn't have as much strategy as its predecessor, Rome 1, or uh, the games after it, uh, Empire and Napoleon. But it was nonetheless a very fun game, particularly when it came to single player campaign. You gotta admit, medieval Europe, fantastic era to play Total War. Um, so it would be very interesting. I would certainly, certainly, in fact, I'd get the game, I'd get Total War game anyway, even if it's Warhammer Total War or whatever, but I'd certainly be pre ordering that. Because um, it, it would be absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic game. You know, you, imagine with the Warscape engine zooming in and watching all those knights fighting, you know, for real, instead of the stuff they have on Medieval 2. That would be interesting. The only thing that puts me off it is why make a third game if you haven't made two of other games? That gives you a hint of what I want to see later. Um, so, eh, possible, possible. <sighs> I, I I don't think it's the best idea, but I would certainly like to see that game, you know, it'd be very entertaining. And the reason I say this, what I, what, why I think it would be that, is because where Total War, well, should I say Creative Assembly, have announced that they are going to be announcing their next Total War game, uh, 28th September, I believe, in London, um, they have a picture of medieval Total War. So, that is that possibly an easter egg? Is that possibly something telling us, hey, it's going to be Medieval 3, or would Creative Assembly just tease us, you know? Who knows, who knows, but either way, that is on the plate, definitely. Okay, another possible thing on the plate is Total War China. Um, this is mainly the Shogun 2 fans saying this because they love the uh, feudal Japanese era and they want to see more parts around the world of that, for example, Korea, China, etc. And seeing as China has such a diverse and long history, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. You know, like Napoleon, you play from 1805 to 1812. You could play for hundreds of years medieval China, uh, uh, feudal China, whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> They've got special dynasties, but I can't pronounce them, so. Um, Chinese history is not my best part. So I think that would be a very interesting game. Um, something nice to put on the plate. However, I do think it's a bit soon after Shogun 2. You know, it'd be like making... Greece Total War, a bit soon after Rome Total War, you, or Total War Rome 2, you know. Uh, but regardless, that would be a very interesting game, and, you know, possibility, possibility there on the plate. 
Now, the last two that I've heard commonly talked about are very similar games. The first one being Empire 2. Pretty much, it is a sequel to Empire Total War. So it would be Total War Empire 2 or Empire 2 Total War or something. I would love this, uh, personally, because Empire and Napoleon were my two favourite Total War games. Um, as well as Rome 1. So yeah, that, that, that for me that would be fantastic. Um, Empire with updated graphics. and I, I feel as though the, that was one of the best run campaigns in the sense that it had the, uh, the Americas, Europe and India as separate theatres. I personally think that was a really good idea. I mean, a lot of people didn't think so. Uh, so long as they don't bug things up. I mean, you got to give the you got to give them a bit of leeway with the sense that the Warscape engine was new when they made the first Empire, and I personally didn't experience many bugs. Then again, that's after patches. Um, I, I reckon that they could pull it off without any bugs um, if they put enough effort into it. So yeah, that that's another suggestion. Very interesting suggestion. And the final suggestion, which comes very closely to this, is Total War Victoria. This game is... Well, you might be saying, hey, what's the difference between Tot Total War Empire 2 and Total War Victoria? Well, Total War Empire 2 is set in the Colonial Wars um, before the Napoleonic Wars, just like Empire 1. Total War Victoria 2 is set after the Napoleonic Wars, so it will consist of... Um, eight, you know, 1812... Uh, sorry, not 1812. 1815, that's when the Napoleonic Wars ended, to 1914, so it ends at the Great War. Um, it would consist of you know, all, all of the major nations at the time, you could have the American Civil War, the Crimean War, the Franco-Prussian War, the Anglo-Sudan War, the Anglo-Zulu War, the British Empire, the Imperial Century, um, and this whole lead up to the First World War, I, uh, and the scramble for Africa, the colonization of Australia and New Zealand, I think it'd, it'd be an absolutely fantastic era, seeing as the Warscape engine worked so well with musketry warfare and made it very strategic in its own sense, um, especially after the success of Napoleon. Um, yeah, I, I personally think that, that would be an absolutely great idea. Uh, so, you, you know, imagine the fall of the samurai units from Shogun 2 with the depth put into Napoleon on a map like Empire but with the whole world. That is Total War Victoria. That's what a lot of people are suggesting. I personally think that's a very good idea. So, now comes to the conclusion. What do I think the next Total War game will be? Um. Oh, what do I think it will be? This isn't, by the way, what I want it to be. It's just what I think it will be. What do I think it will be? I personally think that it will be Medieval 3. Why? Well, because that Easter egg that the Creative Assembly put on their uh, their website, I think. I know, it was just what someone told me, so don't take me by <laughs> don't Don't, you know, pin me to that. But, um... And a lot of people have been asking for that. Medieval 2 was a success. Medieval 3 would be very interesting, so I'm looking forward to it. I personally don't think they would go so low as to go a historical and make Warhammer after the controversy of Rome 2. It, they could do that, but after Rome 2, I doubt they would. Um, China Total War, I think it's too soon after after uh, Shogun 2. And Victoria and Empire 2, very popular ideas, but a lot of people don't like the musketry warfare. I mean, personally, that's my favourite part of Total War, but a lot of people are against it, which is fair enough, uh, seeing as they did start with, um, you know, swords and katanas, uh, gladiuses, long swords, or, you know, all those sort of games. Um, then the bayonet, ooh, big change, but it worked, it worked. Um, so I think it'll be Medieval 3. Now, what do I want it to be? Well, if I haven't already revealed it, it is between Empire 2 and Total War Victoria. To conclude it, I personally want it to be Total War Victoria. Why? Well, because it would just finish off that era of history, you know? They start with uh, 1700, and they, you know, if they were to end Total War Victoria in 1914, it would go Empire, you could do a complete Let's Play, Empire, Napoleon, um, Total War Victoria as one nation, it would be absolutely fantastic. I would absolutely love the game, never stop playing it, because Napoleon was my favourite online Total War, Empire was my favourite single player Total War. Um, and Victoria would kind of combine the two, if they did it correctly, of course. Um, and it's, you know, one of my favourite eras of history, the British Empire. And it, you know, whilst a lot, the appeal is put off by a lot of people because it's called Victoria, and um, that means it's mainly focused on the British. That's only because the British owns the, the you know, the imperial century, the, a quarter of the world. There's also, as I said, all these other countries that come in, for example, Germany's power rising up to the Great War. 
with their industrialization, shipbuilding, armies, the Franco-Prussian War, the Crimean War would involve Russia and the fall of the Ottoman Empire, um, the Anglo-Sudan War, uh, the Anglo-Zulu War, the Scramble for Africa, the Boer War, uh, the American Civil War. There you go, that, there's a perfect example. Um, I think all of these would add together to make the perfect total war game, in my opinion. Um, I doubt they're going to make it though, but if they did, then definitely pre-order in that game. <laughs> um, I, I personally think it would certainly wrap up that Empire and Napoleon sort of era, and then you're like, okay, there's a little prize trophy cabinet we've got for those games uh, in Creative Assembly. Now we could, you know, work on finishing, well, fixing the Rome legacy, because Rome 1, fantastic game. Rome 2, I also thought it was a fantastic game, but a lot of people didn't, so, that, you know, they might need to make a Rome 3 to make up for that. Um, and Shogun, Shogun, not strategic enough. Ent visually entertaining, not strategic enough. Um, medieval, they they could wrap up, but I think they first will need to wrap up the Empire, Napoleon sort of era. Why? Well, because both of those games had zero faults. I mean, yeah, there were bugs at the start of Empire because Warscape Engine was brand new, but you can't you can't have a go at them for using a new engine and not expect any bugs. And they did patch all of them. Um, Napoleon Wars, goddamn perfect. And I think that Total War Victoria 2 would be a great idea, in my opinion. So there we go. These are the Total War games that I would like to have next, and the Total War games that I think, you know, Creative Assembly bring out next. In case you're wondering, they are announcing the next Total War game uh, between the 25th and the 28th of September at uh, some convention. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, someone correct. Someone please correct that. In London. Um, and then they will, of course, spend probably spend the next year developing it and release it uh, around this time in 2015. So look forward to that. Um, let me know in the comments below which Total War game that you think they'll make and which Total War game you would like them to make. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.